there's been a lot of people I've been seeing online um, saying that uh, they don't like that people are charging to learn how to learn how to grow on YouTube. <clears throat> and they, a lot of people feel like they shouldn't be charging because most of the stuff you could find on YouTube. Um, one of the biggest things right now, I've just been seeing a lot of people have been really inspired by DoDash. And she dropped a blueprint and they said it wasn't really a blueprint or whatever. And I saw some of the videos of people who purchased it or whatever, and they had their reviews and input on it. I don't want to get into all of that. Um, coming from a person who has uh, purchased and or hired uh, quote unquote YouTube gurus, um, I wanted to get their knowledge so I could expedite the process of growing my channel. And um. <clears throat> Uh, there's there is a lot of stuff on YouTube that you could use. Some people go in depth, but when you actually purchase the right YouTube gurus, and I and I went through some of them that were crap, <laughs> but I've also worked with some that really really um, helped me a lot and showed me some things I actually didn't know. I don't ever uh, proclaim to know any and every single thing, and stuff is always changing so fast too. Um, somebody who's already achieved what I'm looking to achieve may already have access to that knowledge and I'm willing to pay for it. Um, I've been blessed in my business where I can't afford to invest in myself and into these gurus. So in this video, I want to show you some things that you may not find on YouTube or you may not be able to invest in a quote unquote YouTube guru. And um, we're, I'm going to make this into a series, but uh, I want to start at the beginning so um, if you follow me on this series, I'm going to be giving away all that information of how you can start your YouTube and grow your YouTube and get steady followers and subscribers the organic way, right? Um, and it's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take consistency. I know that's a word everybody says all the time, but it's the absolute truth. Um, you got to be consistent in anything that you want to be successful in. All right, so I'm going to go back to the beginning of the basics of some stuff that I've seen online that um, they're not telling you all the steps and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do when you start, decide that you wanna start your YouTube channel is you gotta create your YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your YouTube channel and your profile, all those things, and um, show you how you can set up also uh, your videos. So. Um, you won't have to always add in the information in your YouTube description. Um, and that's one of the core cool things that a lot of people don't know about. So we're going to dive into it. We're going to start with the YouTube profile. Okay, so here is my YouTube channel. Um, some key things before I sh start showing you um, how to set everything up. I want to give you a snapshot overview so you want a banner, okay? You want your banner to tell the people three things, all right? This is what I've learned and been taught, all right? You first want to tell them who you are, of course. So whatever your name of your channel you want to pick, that's who you are. I recommend picking something that is searchable, all right? And that says a lot about who you are without you having to say it yourself, so to kind of get an impression, when I first started out, I've branched out and I'm doing, I, I work with any and everybody now. But when I first started out, I was kind of targeting dads because I was a dad myself. So dad learns money. That's going to attract those type of people. But like, yo, for whatever reasons they need money, they're going to at least take interest in this channel and my content. All right. So that's how you want to kind of imagine when, uh, kind of like think about when you're choosing your title. But least least uh scenario or, <clears throat> or bare minimum just use your name you can never go wrong with your name your name is gonna always be your name and that'll be fine so if you overthink it over analyzing just use your name guys just just pick a pick a name all right so who you are the second thing is what your channel is about all right so I just summed it up in two words digital marketing and affiliate marketing that's all I focus that's my lane I stay in on this channel and you want to make sure that uh when you are choosing those things it's something that you enjoy something that you have some type of passion about because growing a youtube channel is very difficult so you got to have some level of love 
for doing it. So that's going to motivate you when you aren't getting the views, you aren't making any money, and you're not, you're not getting any subscribers. All right, that's going to keep you going. All right, so pick those, pick those one or two things that your channel is about, and you picking those things is going to help you stay in your lane. So if you're one of those people who starts a YouTube channel and then you be all over the place, everything you see that you think is trending, you jumping on it. All right, um, this is going to help you stay in your lane and stay on track. All right, I see a lot of stuff out there. I'd be like, oh man, I, I want to try that, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I'm not a quote unquote YouTube guru myself is because I'm about digital marketing and affiliate marketing. I do talk about some things on, about YouTube, just like this video here, but my whole channel isn't about growing a YouTube channel. All right. I talk about digital marketing and affiliate marketing. All right. So who you are, what your channel is about and when you post. All right. Let people know when you post. That is so powerful. Um, YouTube doesn't send out all the notif uh, the YouTube doesn't send out notifications to everyone who is subscribed to you. I don't know why, and it don't matter, right? So don't depend on every time you drop a video that everybody who subscribes to your channel is gonna find out. All right. Um, uh, YouTube just sends your your notifications to that select uh to uh, a select few of people. All right, for whatever reason. All right. So tell them when you're going to post and it can be broad. Like mine says, new videos every week. If you haven't really decided what days and how often you're going to post each week, at least say, hey, new videos every two weeks, new videos every month or a video every Wednesday or videos Mondays and Fridays, whatever it is, let them know when you are posting. OK. And then, uh, of course, you want to have your subscribe stuff and cred credentials right here you want to remind them of that that's just a, a bonus thing right there but um when they land in your channel coming from any video they should instantaneously see that your channel is something that's going to help them or is something that they're interested in just off your profile okay so i'm going to show you how to set this up right here a lot of people struggle with this and there's so much more in here, but I just want to just talk about this right now. I'm going to make this into a series and break down your whole profile and optimizing your bio and customizing your channel and all those things. And so much goes into YouTube. We're going to start with the basics. If you're at the beginning, first thing you want to do is create your channel banner. All right. So we're going to go into Canva on the front. Here's my channel right here. Here's how I did it. All right, so I have access to this template. I'm going to give you this template for absolutely free. All right, this template helped me <laughs> do this. All right, so when you get this template, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. All right, I want you to understand that this, all this red stuff right here is what's going to show up on TV. All right, so people can watch your YouTube channel on YouTube. I mean, on their TV, all right? Because, you know, there's a YouTube app and people can watch YouTube on television. So your entire channel like this with all the red and everything else included is going to fill that whole television space. So this is my entire YouTube banner on television. This is how it would look. And you're welcome to put other stuff here. Like you could put other pictures here, like a... Uh, Here's one I did for my daughters. My daughters also have a YouTube channel. So on, on YouTube, you can only see what's here, but on a YouTube, uh, watching uh, YouTube on TV, you can see the entire um, art. But I just kept mine simple. All right, so back to this thing. So right here, this is going to be for desktop. So it says desktop right here. If they're watching on a tablet, right here this is how much space you have the extra space so this is only what's going to be shown on desktop this is going to be shown on tablet and this is extra space extended from the desktop and then extra space extended from the tablet is going to be the desktop max so some people have a really wide screen on their desktop and this is going to show this some people have desktop monitors that are just as big as a television 32 and 46 inches big all right all right, so these little numbers are just uh, the uh, the width and the height, all right? But you don't really have to know all of that as long as you're staying within these parameters right here. So I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to detach it 
So you can kind of see like so, and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to stretch it out. So when you get this template, you would do the same thing too. But I just want you to see uh, how I created it before we get deep into it. So what I'm going to do, I have it covering it. And then now I'm going to make it very, very uh, transparent. All right. So that little YouTube thing in the red is my actual channel. I mean, the actual template. But you can see I kept my image inside of the desktop. And then for um, the larger desktop, I didn't really worry about tablet. But for the larger desktop, you can see I have new videos every week. Subscribe. So I stayed within the parameters of this template. All right. That's all I did. So when you're creating it, if you want to add extra stuff up here, you can do that just like I did with my girls and add stuff down here, but it's only going to be shown on the television. Everything here is only going to be shown on the desktop. So if we go back to my YouTube channel, here's my desktop. Even though I have this large uh, image, it's only showing this on desktop. All right. So only the outside stuff is going to be shown on a television that is up to these parameters. All right. This width and this height. All right. So I'm just going to bring this back down. So when you get this template, let me make this back clear. All right, so when you get this template, you just upload it into Canva. And then when you upload it in Canva up on the uploads or whatever, you just click it and it's going to pop up on your blank canvas. And then I just right click and then I click set images background. Boom. All right, so it's already there. So now all I would have to do now is just add what I want here, okay? So we we'll just pretend and play with it. I'm gonna go to some elements here and I'm gonna go to some photos and I'm just gonna say, man, okay? So we we'll just use this guy right here. So here he is. All right, so now with this man, let's pretend this is you right here. If I, you see how his head is coming up out of that? So that means on my channel on desktop or a tablet, his head is going to be cut off. So if I don't want his head cut off, I got to bring him into those parameters. All right. So this gray is for regular desktop. This is extra space for tablet. And this is max space for larger screen desktops. But if I only want to focus on just a regular desktop, I would stay within this dark gray area, right? 1855 by 4. 23 and you can put whatever you want here all right you can put your your picture your name and your channel and even though i put this on the outside of desktop you can put all of that inside of this square right here okay so your picture and your images all of those things let's say if i just wanted to um put new channels okay so we're gonna put new Uh, I'm sorry, not new channel, but new videos every Tuesday. I'm not trying to make it real pretty. Just want to show you guys. That's your. That's what you could do is make it look real pretty. All right. So I'm going to make it white so we can see it. One white. All right. And change the font a little bit. We just use Anton. And then I'm going to shrink it. I mean, not shrink it, but make the line space a little bit tighter. All right, so I will put that there, like so. All right, so that's what my video is going to say, new videos every Tuesday. And then if I want to say subscribe, I can say subscribe. All right, and I will put that there. Now, this... Uh, background we don't want to we don't want our channel to have these the template in our background right so we'll go back to elements and i'm just gonna put uh here's a background but you can key in any color background you in. so we'll just do blue blue background like so and it's going to show me images for a blue background so we'll just get this one right here 
And all I'm doing is shrinking it like so. And I'm going to stretch it like up to that parameter. All right. And up to that parameter. And then you see it's covering the man. So what I'm going to do now is click on position and click on uh, backwards. If I click on two back, it's going to put it in the very back behind the template. So we're just going to put backwards. Boom. All right. So now the guy is there. So. Now you see you're staying inside the parameters. You can play with this however you want. Now, if you want to do more space for the tablet, then you can just stretch it or keep going all the way to the end, okay? But I recommend you do a little bit at a time, like so, so that you can see what you're working with because if you stretch it all, then you won't be able to see the template. So if you wanted to put um, maybe a logo, your logo right there or something, go to graphics. Let's just say your logo is an eagle. You want to put the logo right there. You want to make sure you stay inside of that. All right, because this is only going to be shown only on the tablet. They won't see it on your desktop. All right, so make sure you stay inside that. And then you just keep going until you have whatever you want. So now if I wanted to put some more stuff here, if I wanted to put another thing here, then I could put it here. Just stay within those parameters. Boom, boom, boom. And then keep stretching. And you just repeat it on the other side. And then if you want to branch out and add more stuff, same thing, leave that there, put whatever you want to put here, and then stretch it out, all right? And then once you're done, let's say you finish, right? First thing you want to do is detach this so you can keep it. It's going to move this down right here, all right? Once you're done, you have everything leveled up, then what you'll do is just set it as background. All right, and everything is going to be laid out, and then that's how I got this. You can see the little black right here. This is the black background. So now I have my YouTube uh, channel art. All right, so now all you have to do now is just download it. Okay, so we're, I'm just going to, I guess I'll download it. Page nine. Let that download. <coughs> Let's download it. So we're going to go back to our channel now. And you have to be on your channel itself. All right. And then you're going to go to customize channel. And it's going to take you inside of the studio. And then you're going to scroll down. Did I pass it? Okay, right here. Banner image right at the top. So you can uh, I already have my set. And you can see it has it for the TV. Just like so, like we talked about. It has it for the laptop, and then it has it for the tablet. So that's why the template is going to help you. All right, so if you don't use a template, you kind of like winging it, hoping that you get it right, and when you upload it, it's going to be cut off and distorted and weird, and you're going to have to keep going back and forth inside of Canva, tweaking it, and that takes a lot of time, and it's very tedious and frustrating. So use the template. It's going to save you a lot of frustration. Anyway, um, what you would do, you would come here and you would click change. Then you would find that, click it, click open, and then it's going to pop up here. All right. And now it's showing you how it looks on TV. It shows you how to look on desktop. And it shows you how it looks on all devices. Right. And you won't have to change anything. It's already ready. Right. And then all you have to do now is click done. I won't click done because, of course, I already have it. So I'm going to click cancel. But boom, you're good. <laughs> that is how you create a channel. Now, if while we're here, if you want to add your um, channel name here, Dad Learns Money, whatever the handle you want, I think you have to reach a level of subscribers. Back when I started, that was the case. It may not be that case. But um Here's where you can add your at for your channel, at that learns money. If you want to do pronouns, he and she. You could do your description here. If you want it in different languages, you could do here. 
But if you notice, oh, I, I can't go back, but um, you can make uh, some links inside your description in your channel or your bio. The bio should say, not your description. So this is your channel URL. If you ever need to come get this, you can come get this. You can share it with people. And all you have to do is copy. But here's where you put your links. So these are just products that I sell. But this could be anything. If you want to put your other socials or whatever you want, it's cool. You give the title, the name. So the name of this product is Digital Income Starter Kit. That's the URL to go purchase. Here's my ebook. That's the URL. Here's my challenge. Here's the URL to get started. If you want to put your contact info, email here, and you can create a, your own customized subscribe button. I don't really do that, but you can create an icon. Just make sure that you have those pixels in it, and you can do this in Canva. When you have that, you can upload it. We won't go into that into this video. All right. So um, once you're done, then you can come back, view your channel, and everything should be boom. You have your name i mean you have your channel art you have your name you can see the at and then we click down here you see my links right here boom 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 uh people could click to view my email address and so on and so forth all right also uh you can edit your channel art by clicking edit like so and it'll take you back here all right so it's two ways you can do that all right now, while we're here, um, I want to show you how you, when you're uploading your videos, how you can set that the information, if it's going to be repetitive, can stay the same. So if you go down here to settings, you click settings, and what you want to go into when you get uh, settings is upload default. And this is where I don't use title because, of course, every new video I upload is going to be a different title. So whatever you put here is going to automatically input that information in your video so if you give if you add a title it's gonna make sure that it that it's gonna make that title of that video whatever you put here so i just don't deal with it all right so but my my youtube description um a lot of the stuff i want to be in all of my videos i sell products i have services i have freebies i have information contact information disclaimers all of that stuff is all in my youtube defaults right here so I put it all in YouTube defaults right here one time. Now, every time I upload a video, it's automatically there for me. I don't have to repeat the step over and over and over and over and over again. And you can do this with your tags. If you reuse and tags 90, 99% or hundred percent of the time, it will also transfer all of your tags to all of your videos automatically. And you can skip that step. Um, advanced settings. Um, it's some stuff inside YouTube um, during the upload process of your video. It asks you and you can set those as well. So English, um, certification, title and description language is going to be English. So I ain't got to deal with that every single video when I upload. I always want the comments turned on and I always want people to see how many likes this video has. All right. We'll break down the rest of these in future videos, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics. So that's how I would do that. And this stuff saves me a ton of time. All right. Our next video will probably talk about a video. I mean, uh, not a video, but a, about a thumbnail. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, all this stuff is, is uh, once you learn it and you'll start seeing how people are able to be consistent <laughs> um, with these things you may not find out on YouTube. So let me know if you guys would like more videos like this. I keep putting them out. They're going to be real raw, just like this, not no editing. I'm just going to make this a quick series, but it's going to be free information. All right. Stay blessed. And I see you in the next video.